Hello, this is Thor Young with Bearable Traders, and I'd like to do a recap for you on my MU trade today. I actually traded MU a couple of times today and uh, had some success with it, and I'd kind of like to walk you through my process here on what was going on. Uh, the SPY today was a little all over the place, pretty choppy, and it was kind of hard finding a stock that I really liked, so I had to be patient. I didn't get my first trade on till, you know, after 10 o'clock. And it was really just about waiting to find setups that I like and waiting for things to settle a little bit and for things to pick a direction. So as I was waiting, I noticed that MU found a price level at around 41.56 here on the five minute chart and then started to pull off and then had held the 20 moving average, which for MU is a pretty solid average generically, and then started to push back up. That clued into me that I think what we have going on here is an ABCD pattern. So now that we have the pattern, I just really need to judge my entry. So when I'm judging my entry, and, and as I talk about my now infamous ascending and descending triangles, I'm always stacking those triangles on top of a greater pattern. So for instance, MU's greater pattern is an ABCD pattern. The question is, is how do you get in and how do you judge that entry? So, and that's where my triangle comes in. My triangle is a continuation of the current trend pattern right so as you can see here once MU came down and held the 20 moving average on the five minute on the one minute it made an ascending triangle against 4142 we had higher lows on this one minute and we had a nice flat price level to the top so I took my entry with a five cent stop and I got a very nice reward out of it, it took a thousand shares and was able to cover, uh, cover it up quite nicely uh, up some key levels. Now again, once we're up around 4170, I actually saw a consolidation period start and a new price level form at 4170. So I'm thinking we got another ABCD pattern for another move up. So I went ahead here and added into my position and got a nice pop to 4175 and then it failed on me and I stopped out at 4160. Now why I stopped out at 4160 is once I added in my new average was 4160 and I didn't want to risk any of my already taken profit, you know, on this add in. So I adjusted that so I would go out. That was it done. Um, actually it was pretty much at my P&L for the day at that point anyway. So I figured I was just going to be finished and I was going to record this video. So I sat down to record the video, and as I was getting the charts pulled up, I noticed that we had some indicators for a continuation here. Um, MU had managed to hold uh, the nine moving average on the five minute, and an ascending triangle formed here at 4163 on the one minute. So at the cross of the averages and at my, uh, my new price level, I went ahead and took my entry and uh, subsequently partialed as we went up and then um, I'm holding in now actually for 42 I have a range order in set for 42 which should close off the rest of my position and I'll have over uh, 300 on this one trade if we can get there um, so but as you can see I just held in there my new stop was now 4163 at my break even and I'm holding for 42 and that was with a fresh uh, set of thousand shares so between these uh, you know really two successful trades and one failed trade and this is what my failed trades look the most often like is you see the price level will break but then it will exhaust the buyers or the sellers depending on which direction it's going and it'll have a crash back down so it's always nice to take a little profit here uh, just to make sure that you're gonna at least cover your commissions and such so I tend to do like a 10 percent grab on whatever that first pop is and then, you know, and then we'll stop out once it hits my key level. So anyway, this is my MU trade. As you can see, lots of uh, triangles in this one uh, using, uh, you know, for add-ins and fresh positions. Really hoping to get to $42. It went to $41.99, so that's pretty brutal. Um, but hopefully we'll hang in here for a minute and we'll get the rest of the way to the $42. Um, I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope you're all staying green.